Hey guys, it's Alex here, and we are back with our slowest save in FM. We are here for the 10th of November, and it's just ticked over to the 10th of November. Uh, meanwhile, it is 8 a.m., uh, Unfit Manager, um, and we've, we've got a full day to, to look through, basically. Um, let's let's just have a little look what was in our inbox. I, oh, yes, of course, of course. We'll ask our assistant manager. And, ooh, fourth time I'm on mistrain demote player. That is a uh, harsh... We'll confirm that. Um, I was thinking, I don't know what we're going to do today. Let's see if it, we actually get through to anything today. We've got, um, we've compiled a report on our international Ollie Ewing, um, a young 18 year old. Okay, he's not bad. He's not bad. Look, I'm going to try and go a little bit slower. Look at, look at things. I think I'm a bit too fast. Brian Kidd is getting offered a job by. Why do you have to wait until we offer him? That's a, that's a joke. Okay, we've got our squad dynamics introduction. Let's us introduce ourselves to the squad. <laughs> <laughs> because it's an international break no one's fucking here we've got vardy child harry albright and harvey barnes bertrand lookman mendy perez justin yukupovic benkovic fafana sumaria and jewsbury hall we have 14 players okay well i'd like to introduce myself as your new manager and answer any questions that you may have i think we're all really excited that you've joined the club and the future looks very bright um I'll, I want to wait until the end of the season to talk about promises and all that, but let's discuss our objective for the rest of this season. Absolutely, promises aren't always easily defined, so we need some tangible targets. That's perfect, that's perfect. Um, we're not going to challenge for the title. I think we're good to call on off for the Euro Cup. That's a target we all could get behind. That's, this is incredible. It's incredible. I can't believe we've actually got through this. Um, let's go for reaching the knockout stage. You think, okay... Um, you aren't being ambitious enough. Okay. I like to be ambitious. I could see us pushing us to be better. Jamie Vardy's loving this. We need to make sure that we start the season striving to do as well as we possibly can. That's what I wanted to hear, lads. Yes. <laughs> it's good to see that there's some support in the dressing room for that idea. That's more like, oh, me and Jamie, we're loving life. Me and Jamie, we're getting on. We're, we're having VKs. We're having, we're, having, we're having Vardy VKs. Ones where you, where you put, I was in Leicester for the, the, the Leicester title win. So I have a little connection with them. You put, instead of a Jaeger bomb, it's a Vardy bomb. So instead of having um, Red Bull and Jaeger, you have Jaeger and VK, Blue VK. <laughs> um, so ooh, that's something. Um, I want to reach the latter stages. I think that's a sensible target. Okay, thanks, thanks, Jamie. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, mate. Um, I see exactly the sort of reaction. Me and me and Jamie have an we're ooh, friends. Ooh. <laughs> Leicester friends. Ooh. Okay, uh, that's a great response. Now that's we're on to the same page. I expect everyone to accept any disciplinary action that comes their way. Perfect. Me and Jamie, best of friends. Look at that. Absolutely. Oh, where, where's Jamie? Where is he? My boy. Look at that. Reserved. <laughs> Jamie's reserved. Oh, his body language is reserved. Um, have been left unaffected. Okay. Apparently, there's, uh, there's a good effect. They said they've been left unaffected, and most players have increased their morale. Very weird. Um, well, just before midday, we're having love in it. What's the dynamics looking like? What what are we looking at in the dynamics today? Maybe we'll have a look through dynamics. So, team cohesion is average. Our club atmosphere is incredible. We have got some very good form. Managerial support. We've got good, strong influence. What's the hierarchy? We've got, obviously, we've got Schmeichel, Vardy, and Jamie Ev Oh, Jamie. John Johnny Evans. He's a model citizen. I didn't know that. Um... Got some good, we got a lot of highly influential players. I'm surprised about that. Social groups, oh, poor Lookman and Daka. They're just sitting outside the big group. Happiness, um, Pats and Daka is the only one that's not doing the best. He's content. So, code of conduct, team. I don't need a new team. We've literally just done one. Uh, team talk feedback. Okay, brilliant. Well, then that looks good. Let's continue once more. Um, Training indu induction. Sure, we'll take the induction. Why not? Okay, we're looking at our four three three. Brilliant. Um, there's the day. There it is. Defending. Brilliant. No schedule selected. There's our. We should actually have a look at our our mentor groups honestly, um, and see what they're doing. Uh, just, uh, coaching team. The training. We should probably sort that. Okay, let's have a look at our training. Let's go through a little few things here. So we've got. This is fine for the international break. The calendar, the schedules. Um, put it on no matches. Yeah, put it on that for now. Uh, units. Let's uh, 
what, what are we looking at here? Who do I want from the under 19s to be up in this group potentially? Um, let's go have a little look at our under 19s. Where where are? How, how do I find our under dev development center? I forget. I forget every time. We want to put Mass One Hise in there. Maybe Vonte Daly Campbell. Maybe Brandon Cover. He's pretty decent. We could bring him in, and then okay, you're in the attackers, and then Campbell. You can go in the defenders. We'll look at them too. What about our under 18s? Maybe Will Alves, bring Will Alves in. Potential, let's go have a little look then. Um, let's go find our training squad. We're just doing little little small things at the moment. Okay, let's go look at the defense view. Who was it? It was da Daily Campbell. And then also offensive unit, it was Brandon Cover. And it was... Mawas Hisane. And then also offensive unit, if we go to under... 18s it was will alves so we'll add a, add a couple in there see how they do uh mentoring should we do as we ask assistant to assign what do they say johnny evans perfect uh ryan bertrand he is professional that's pretty decent and then jamie vardy perfectionist brilliant love to see that and then individual we could probably go through each person uh individual cashmere michael's 35 i had no idea i thought he was in his like 30s but I didn't realise he was he was thirty two. He was thirty five. I thought he was like thirty two or something. My goodness me. Okay, um, financial fair play. Great to see Inacio. What, what's happened to his name? Look at this. What's going on? It's a bit cursed. Oh my goodness. Is this is that actually what is is that how it actually is or is my computer going a bit weird what the fuck oh we've also got our me meeting with the media oh my goodness who are we talking to richard Connolly, alexandra foucher alex owen from sky sports news okay let's let's attend this press on there's eight journalists there's not many um let's kick this off from bbc radio leicester what does it feel like to be the new leicester manager uh it's a privilege to be here i'm so excited um FM. I, I click this. Okay. Okay. The facilities of the club are fantastic. Are you excited about the opportunity to work in such an environment? I'm absolutely delighted. We're just we're just being a bloody fantastic. You've taken a seven to foot one and being just twenty four years of age. Critics have suggested that you will struggle to command respect in the dressing room that contains players older than you are. What do you say to that? Um I don't think age is important. The best way to earn the respect of the players is by winning games, and I'm confident I can do that. I'm I'm a young Jose Mourinho. How do you go about day to day work on the training ground? I'm all about working smarter, not necessarily harder. <laughs> Everything will be planned to focus around ensuring peak performance. Uh, yeah, why not? I don't care. Do you think the next three fixtures represent a good chance of getting off to a good start? I don't know what the next three fixtures are, honestly. We've got Southampton next. Want to have a positive start. Perfect. You want to be looking forward to the first match. There you go, Southampton. Thank you. I can't wait. It'll be a fantastic occasion. And hopefully you can get off to a great start. Brilliant. What was it about Leicester that appealed so much? I lived here before, uh, honestly. Uh, smile warmly. This is a massive club. I think this has got a potential. Managing is a privilege. It's all a little thing. The club wants to... Okay, there's a massive club. I appeal to anyone. They're built for success. Was there anything that gave you the reason to think it might not have been the right one for you? Um, not particularly, although I'm not naive. Either. There will be rough times to go along with the smooth, as there are in any job. Will you be looking to change the squad very much? I think we have a great shot. I'm not sure we need improvement right now. That's because we're not in the transfer window, so I can't sign anyone. Have you had a chance to meet the players yet? Um, yes, I've been with them briefly, and I can uh, tell they're eager to impress. Do you have a message for the Leicester fans? Oh, here we go. Um... Let's see. Uh, we have incredible fans who support us in so many ways. They're vital to us. Perfect. Where do you think you can take this club? We need to aim high and set ambitious targets because that's how we'll get where we want to be. How important is it to have players like Wilfred and Didi to build around? He's a manager's dream. Sure. He, he, I do love Didi, to be fair. So he'll be very important for us. Um, oh, yeah. Ricardo Pereira. Um, let's see. I want to keep Rado here. And we're, we're doing everything in my power to ensure that. There we go. Continue to summary. Perfect. No one really cared, did they? They, they, just, they don't really matter, do they? We're okay, 315. We're, we're loving life. We're loving life here. Um, is this the end of the day? It is the end of the day. I'm so sorry, lads. It's the time. That's all we've got time for today. It's, we, we went through some training stuff. We went through, we introduced the players. Me and Jamie Vardy are friends. So 
<laughs> it's a great time. It's a great time to be a Leicester fan. I'll be back with you tomorrow for another episode of the slowest save in Football Manager. It's going to take a while. We will get to the Southampton game eventually. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It's been Alex. And I'll see you guys next time.